everyone, and welcome to my product review video of Insurrection Industries Carby. This little fella right here is for the original GameCube models that offered the digital output port. And this little fella right here is going to offer you a HDMI solution for your digital port enabled GameCube. So let's go ahead and uh, take a look inside the box here. First thing, as soon as you open it up, nice and red on the inside. And this is it right here. Surprisingly enough, the, this little car, the Carby, doesn't require external power anywhere on it. So that's a that's really different compared to a lot of the other HDMI solutions for various consoles. Normally, you normally they typically require some kind of external power source, usually through a micro USB port. But on the Carby here, you notice all you have is you plug into the digital port and then you plug an HDMI cord into it. That's really all there is. Crazy, right? So, dig a little bit further. Set this over to the side here. Well, not sure how well you can see it, but, oh, there it is. That's cool looking. It has, it has their logo, Insurrection Industries, you know, made right into the side of it. That's a nice little touch that I can appreciate, personally. So we dig a little bit further in here. And you notice... This weird little thing here. It comes with the remote. Now, I don't know about y'all, but... I've never seen a HDMI solution... That comes with the remote. What is this for, you may be asking? Well, the software that is on the Carby lets you go into a menu and you can set various different options. You can change your color saturation, you can change, I believe, screen, you know, you can modify screen position slightly. And I believe you can even mute the audio through the HDMI. I personally don't know why you would want to do that, but you have it as an option, which is really cool. So further on in the video, I'm going to go ahead, I'll show y'all that menu. So just for consistency sakes, I'm going to go ahead and use Fight Night Round 2 to kind of show off the picture and everything that you can get from the Carby through your GameCube. Now, the reason I'm using this is because, some of y'all may know, I also done a review on the Hopperkin 3-in-1 cable, which uses the analog port on the GameCube to get HDMI output. Ladies and gentlemen, courtesy of EA Sports World of Boxing and Staples Center, let's meet tonight's fighters. So, of course you can notice that it's not playing the uh, music for the entrance tracks. From Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, this is done because I didn't want to fuck with any copyright issues. So, there's actually an option to turn the music completely off on entrances and stuff like that. But, I mean, it looks pretty good, honestly. In my opinion. And round one is underway. Of course, it doesn't do any wow, of the uh, artificial stretching. So you are in 4x3 mode. Haymaker causes some concern for right. Hopkins kicked it up a notch with a big left-handed Haymaker. His legs are really holding up well, not a sign of wobbling. Hopkins looking like he has something to prove by pounding his opponent with an impressive haymaker. Nice defensive work as he blocks that shot. Hop 
Watkins connects with a hard, vicious haymaker upstairs. Of course, it does. It does have some jaggies punch. around it. Sets him up. You can kind of see. And a vicious around the, haymaker catches around him upstairs. The, characters themselves Ooh, you know there's still some a little bit of sharpness from the pixels hard shot Bernard. but we're gonna see right here in the slow motion wow, he's hard. just the how from that overpowering haymaker. just how well some of the picture is when it goes in when it goes he's into this slow-mo right Look here he connects on the way down you can see a little it'll go a little bit more into detail And I believe, I'm pretty sure this is, I, I've been playing games using the Carby for about a week now. But I do believe this is the first time that I've done any of, One, played any two, Fight Night using three, the Carby. Four, five, six, oh, business. Since you're using oh, the digital out on the, on the cube. That he means that you can do uh, progressive scan mode. Wow, right and what's cool about that is now you're oh, outputting 480p. Some of you may know where I'm going with this. And where I'm going with this is the M Classic. Hopkins. The M Classic's minimum input that it will take and start upscaling is 480p. We've got to see him land that when you're using the analog time. out, unless you're using some kind of cable that sends a 480p signal through. If you're using the analog port, you can't use your M Classic to upscale it. Now I know for some of y'all that's going to mean absolutely nothing because I know a lot of people are not using an M Classic One, on their setups. Two, three, Me personally, four, five, I use a HDMI six, switch box. Seven, so all of my consoles are hooked to this switch box and on the output of that switch box is an M Classic. So everything I use has an M Classic. Now, right now at this moment, my M Classic is on pass-through mode. So I wanted you to see exactly what the Carby does just 100% on its own. So, this next little bit, I think I'm gonna turn the M Classic on and let y'all see what happens. Okay, so now we have Relax the M Classic here. turned on. You didn't take that round, okay? We gotta watch the left eye, buddy. We'll need to keep that left block up. And we already you can see immediately it working the smoothness. Round two is underway. And having a nice whole lot less jaggies. I mean, brings him in wow. Nice move. Good shot. Bernard Hopkins These two together, eye, which is almost completely swollen I don't know shot. how much Good YouTube's going to hurt thing. the quality, but Winky right now, these to two together, near his right eye. this Lord is fucking killer looking. I mean, oh, excuse my, my language, but from his right hand. wow. Wow. Hopkins fired on all cylinders with that crushing haymaker to his opponent's head. This doesn't even look like the same thing I was just looking at a couple minutes ago. Here's where we're really going to see it. We're going to do this slow motion. How's it going to look in the slow motion view here? Can you believe that shot? I want to see that from another angle. How devastating. Wow. 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 This has been the biggest change that I've seen using an M Classic Boom, yet. Hit with a right hand maker and he looks completely lost I mean, holy cow. He may go down shortly. Granted, of course, you know, like the tattoos and the Everlast on the gloves and little things like that. Of course, those One, are still going to look blurry two, three, because four, the stuff's five, not there six, to begin with. Uh, I can't hardly believe it. 
That's amazing. Almost, almost bring, oh, almost bring a tear to my, holy shit. All right. So the only thing left on our to-do list is to go ahead and check out what kind of menu the Carby offers. Okay, so we have the menu pulled up here. See, we're in 480p settings. Scan line profile. You can change you can change it, add scan lines in, make it look like a CRT. Not my thing personally. See, you can kind of see on the menu here. Here, I'm going to I'm going to take my face away. So you can see a little bit better. Yeah, right there where it says judge number one, that's where I can see it the best. Change it up. I guess if you want that retro feeling, that's what you're that's what you're gonna want. It's something like that for your retro feel for a retro feel. I personally don't. I like it to look more modern. Do scan line settings, full custom, brightness, hybrid factor, picture settings, brightness, contrast, sat saturation. OSD settings. Output settings. Allow 480p mode, RGB limited range, display is 16 by 9. So you can go in here and change if it go if it displays widescreen or not. Really cool. Some of you are gonna really like that a lot. See, then you can do your volume. You can change the volume output on it, or you can mute the volume. Once again, I don't know what the use of that is but it's another option and it's pretty cool i mean in my opinion that's not i mean it's it's always nice to have more features than you're going to use than less features than you would use right that's the way i look at it now you also have you have the ability to downscale which i'm not sure what Maybe if you're using an older TV that doesn't support 480p or, you know, only support, you know, I don't know. I don't know what the use of going down to 240 or 288p would be. Now, if I could get 576p, that might would look, that might would make my M Classic look even better I'm just gonna see what that'll do and you got your advanced settings report 240p as 480i store settings so once you go through make all your changes you can save them all then you have an about there you go you can update the firmware. If you have a GameCube with the digital digital out on it, I believe the model number is DOL001. If you have a digital out, this is going to be the route that you want to go. I know there's also the Eon MK2 for the GameCube, which is also a... I mean, they're great as well. I don't have personal experience, but from the things I've read, the reviews I've watched, things like that, that's going to be an awesome thing. But they're like, those are like $150. The Carby is $75. And I may be wrong, but I believe the Carby and the MK2 are ru basically run on the same software. From the way I understand it, just about every HDMI solution that you've seen or can find for the GameCube that uses a digital out is going to use the same software to a point. I mean, there's going to be a couple of lines of codes or something that's different, but they all come from the same original source code. With that being said, my opinion, 
The Carby is going to be the best bang for your buck, regardless. I mean, especially if you pair it with the M Classic. Hopefully, you guys can see the true extent of what what went down. I mean, how much it cleaned it up. But that was absolutely mind blowing. So, if you want to truly enjoy your GameCube to the absolute fullest extent, get a Carby. Get an M Classic, pair them up, and see your games like you have never seen them before. So, that's going to do it for this product review video. Hopefully, I can get some more products in for y'all. I'm going to give y'all a little bit of a hint. I'm working on doing some uh, cheap tech versus videos, which I think are going to be really cool. And, uh, maybe if I can get a few more of you guys viewing, I'm going to start, uh, giving away some of my tech on the Versus videos. What do y'all think about that? So, love you guys, and I'll see you on the next video.